All right, so here's a video about this bet, the monastery that we're working on, on the Mount of Olives. There's two properties now. There's Mount Zion and Mount of Olives. They're just two mountains right next to each other. We just walk back and forth between them. There's three mountains here I walk between every day. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm getting in good shape. So anyways, on this Mount of Olives, there's a monastery. The monastery is called Bet Faji. And Bet Faji is where Muni lives. Uh, my friend, his family lives up there and some other people live in these monastery properties. But it's a great big property and, and there's sheep up there, there's chickens, there's horses. It's like a farm in the middle of the city. It is so nice being up there. So we went up there to start renovating, and not renovating, but uh, getting ready to plant some more trees up there. There's some old olive trees and there was a fire on the property a year or so ago and so some of the trees burned. So we're going to put in fruit trees now and we're going to build a food forest and this is our first monastery property that we're working on. Um, to bring back to nature and to plant these trees. So we started going out there and it was, I mean, we just started, we started, we started cleaning out the aqueduct system and it's such a special time out there. So here's some videos about cleaning up Bet Faji and cleaning up the aqueduct system, doing some pruning and just having a wonderful day out there. And uh, that is it, I just wanna keep everybody updated. So this is the Bet Faji project. trees and chickens and sheep and it's this big entrance and there's a whole monastery part up here oh my god this is crazy it's such a beautiful space and there's all these people living out here and wow it's really nice it's really special it's like a big walled area so here i am on the property i bet faji i have set up a nice little camp here you know, I've got some pruning tools and I just want to spend some time on the property and get a feel of what it's like here and where we can put some trees and what it would look like if it was a beautiful garden of Eden. So today I'm just going to start connecting with the trees and I'm going to start doing some pruning on these uh, fig trees over here because it's a good time because it's winter and they are uh, dormant right now. So I'm going to try some pruning. I have never pruned a fig tree but I'll figure it out. I've pruned some cherry trees in Canada and a few trees around here, but no fig trees yet. So this is my first fig tree pruning experience, and here I go. thing here and just so that we all remember that we're in Israel we have the barbed wire fence uh, right beside us here going up there and I don't know what that is for but it's here it's all over the place in this country this barbed wire fence you just gotta get gotta work around it so how does that welcome to Israel Today we were out on this amazing monastery. It's the first of something big, I think, because we had some big news happen today, which I'm not going to share yet. But we came in here and it's this beautiful old orchard and we started to clean it up and get ready so we can put some more trees in. But there's these beautiful fig trees here, which are just about to start giving fruits. There are all of these pomegranate trees, all these things over here, pomegranate trees. And we came in today and we cleaned all this area out from all the shrubs and all the little undergrowth and all the junk that was here. And we trimmed all of these remonines and pruned them all. We made this big pile of trimmings from the few trees here because they were so out of control. And we got up here and we were able to clean this area out. Let's see if I can get it cutting in here. And this is the water catchment for this whole property. And it's massive, it's a huge property and all the water runs down off these eaves troughs and it runs into this box. And 
it's kind of like a filtration and then it runs from here down into a huge cistern which has like almost a thousand cubic meters which is a lot of stuff so they can catch the rainwater off this whole area and all these old monasteries used to be totally self-sufficient because in the day this was the monastery on this hill there was nothing else on this hill so they had all their own water and, and food systems and gardens and they've been run down so here we are and we are getting them back into order and it's so much fun and people came by today and we're helping out and uh, we saw so many nice little creatures and it was just a great day it was so sunny and nice here and this is the beginning and it sounds like we have a lot of properties that we can do this on and we're going to turn it into a youth uh, thing for empowering youth to come back to the nature and to start planting trees and to become the custodians of our world again which we seem to have forgotten somewhere along the line so that's the plan here we are at the monastery over and over